<sighs> right, so you can't really talk about Hiroshima without first mentioning the Second World War. But in case you've been living under a rock for the past so many years. In August 1945, nearing the end of the World War II, two atomic bombs were dropped on Japan by an American plane, the Enola Gay. The first in Hiroshima, and the second in Nagasaki. The Hiroshima bombing is the first atomic bomb to be used during the war to date. It had a devastating death toll of 90,000 to 120,000. It took years to recover and to rebuild. Fast forward to today and Hiroshima is up and running strong. But to find out a little bit more about what happened, we're going to go check out the Peace Museum. The museum was established in August 1955 and is home to a whole lot of different displays of Hiroshima's war history and its horrific aftermath. On top of that, a good part of the museum is dedicated to the modern day state affairs and multiple displays of Hiroshima's anti-nuclear stunts. The mayor of Hiroshima writes a letter every time a nuclear test is carried out, in protest, and you can read all these letters in the main foyer of the museum. The bomb that landed on Hiroshima labeled pretty much everything in the hypercenter, except for one building commonly referred to as the Genbaku Dome or the A-Bomb Dome. The building is actually the remains of the previous industrial promotional hall. But today stands as a memorial for those who lost their lives during the bombing. So the museum has a lot to show and a lot to offer. Some of the things I saw there I'll definitely be taking away with me and I won't be forgetting anytime soon. So I'm not going to dwell too much on this topic, mainly because I want you to go check it out yourself. It's definitely a must-see when you go to Hiroshima. Next up, we're going to go check out Merajima. 